Hello everyone, welcome back to the session. This is me, Somajit. Let's do a reading comprehension passage analysis. The passage is there in the description. If you want to take a look at it beforehand, you can do that. But if you just want to read it with me, you can do that as well. Let's start with the first passage. The first para says, any universal concept of time must ultimately be based on the evolution of the cosmos itself. When you look up at the universe, you are seeing events that happened in the past. It takes time, it takes light time to reach us. Okay. In fact, even the simplest observation can help us understand the cosmological time. For example, the fact that night sky is dark. If the universe had an infinite past and, an in, and was infinite in extent, the night sky would be completely bright, filled with the light from infinite number of stars in the cosmos that has always existed. Now, typically, if you read the first line, you would realize that this is an argumentative passage. That means you are going to get inference type questions a lot. You can go and see the questions as well, but then this is a, you can say this is a sort of a hypothesis that I have. Let's go to the second para. For a long time, scientists, including Einstein, thought that the universe was static and infinite. Static and infinite observations have since shown that it is in fact expanding and at an accelerating rate okay it is expanding it is definitely not static it is you know expanding that too at an accelerating rate you see these are your you know words that you have to pay attention to this means that it must have originated from a more compact state that we call big bang implying that time does have a beginning in fact, if we look for light that is old enough, we can even see the relic radiation from the Big Bang, the cosmic microwave background, realizing this was a first step in determining the age of the universe. So, we are talking about the age of the universe and how actually the universe is expanding. Let's go to the next para. These paragraphs are small, so we'll read them as one but there is a snag einstein's special theory of relativity shows that time is relative the faster you move the relative to me the slower time will pass for you relative to my perception of time so in our universe of expanding galaxies spinning stars swirling planets experiences of time vary everything's past present and future is relative now this is a very important line that what is relative this experience of time is relative now if you know there is a question that exactly asks me something like this whether the experience of a idea is there or not i have to be a little careful now let's read ahead so is there a universal time that we could all agree on it turns out that because the universe is on average the same everywhere and on average looks the same in every direction there does exist a cosmic time to measure it all we have to do is measure the properties of the cosmic microwave background now this is if you realize what cosmic microwave background we are again you know coming back to the idea which was mentioned over there cosmologists have used this to determine the age of the universe its cosmic age it turns out that the universe is 3.77 3.799 billion years old too much facts i'm not really interested let's move ahead there are quite a few paras so you have to pay attention so we know so we know time most likely started during the bang big bang but there is one nagging question that remains what exactly is time do you realize that this passage is totally argumentative? What is time? Alright. To unpack this question, we have to look at the basic properties of space and time. 
इन द डिमेंशन ऑफ स्पेस यू कैन मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड बैकवर्ड कंप्यूटर एक्सपीरियंस दिस एवरी डे बट इन टाइम बट टाइम इज डिफरेंट इट हैज अ डिरेक्शन यू ऑलवेज मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड नेवर इन रिवर्स सो वाई दिस डिमेंशन ऑफ टाइम इज इवर्सेबल अगेन अ क्वेश्चन दिस इज वन ऑफ द मेजर अनसॉल्व प्रॉब्लम इन फिजिक्स to explain why time itself is irreversible we need to find the processes in nature that are also irreversible okay so in a way or the other they are trying to you know find out an analog through which they can pre- predict the you know properties of the other one of the f- one of the few such concepts in physics and in life is that time tends to become less tidy sorry things tends to become less tidy as time passes we describe this usual physical property called entropy that encodes how ordered something is theek okay, hai this is definitely taken from some sort of a you know journal or something or maybe a commentary on a journal imagine a box of gas in which all particles are initially placed in one corner an ordered state over the over time they would naturally seek to fill the entire box a disordered state and to put the particles back into the ordered state would require energy this is irreversible what is irreversible this you know going back to the ordered state is irreversible it's like cracking an cracking an egg to make omelet once it spreads out and fills the frying pan it will never go back to being the egg shaped it is the same with the universe as it evolves the overall en- entropy increases it turns out entropy is a pretty good way to explain time's arrow and it, while it may seem like the universe is becoming more and more ordered rather than less going from a wild sea of relatively uniformly spread out hot gases in early stages of to stars planet humans articles about time you see this is a you know if you realize this thing is a joke or maybe you can s- think of it as a humor uh, laid out there it is nevertheless possible that it is increasing in disorder that's because the gravity associated with large masses may be pulling matter into seemingly ordered state with the increase in disorder that we think must have taken place being somehow hidden away in gravitational fields hidden away in the gravitational field so basically yes this hot gases and all they are turning into stars and planets and humans and articles about time but that does not necessarily mean that you know this is actually getting in order it can also mean that you know they are getting disorder in some hidden uh, you know alley way in the gravitational fields so disorder could be increasing even though we don't see it so if you realize this is a way of saying that even though even though we don't know that it can still be there the last concluding state uh, you know para but given nature's tendency to prefer disorder why did the universe start off in such an ordered state in the first place this is still considered a mystery some researchers argue that the big bang may not even have been the beginning there may in fact be parallel universes and where time run in different direction now this is food for thought okay so this is something that typically the author an argumentative author will do you they will give you a food for thought this line is not a conclusion you can say this was a food for thought if i were the test maker i would you know ask you something related to this thing okay because you can actually go tangentially in this direction all right let's go and see the questions the first question is according to the passage the fact that the night sky is dark indicates the options one by one and see if they make sense the that big bang may not have been the beginning of time actually this is something that is written that you know the time actually started from the big bang because of that cosmic uh microwave background or the relic of that so this is something that can be eliminated that there is a beginning of time as we know it so we will you know keep this option on hold for the time being light sources are few in our universe first of all 
it is given that the night sky would have been all bright had there been infinite you know galaxy rather infinite stars and infinite expansiveness it is not because there aren't infinite stars and all that is why it is dark but i cannot say that the light sources are few few is a very interesting term because this directly say that nothing of this sort is given in the passage so let's go back and check this out once because it is there in the first passage itself the fact that night sky is dark if the universe had an infinite past and an in and was infinite in extent so what we are talking about is an infinite past it has existed forever and the extent of the universe is also infinite these are the important word the past is infinite and the extent is infinite then night sky would be completely bright and not because of the devoid and this is not you know dark because there are less number of light sources so this is actually you know tongue twisting the idea goes out the universe itself has always existed this is something that the author himself says himself or herself says is not the case started off with a big bang so two has to be my answer which of the following can be inferred from the passage light in the cosmos comes from stars well let's keep this time has an has the dimen has the same dimension as space no space has the dimension in which the commuters can go forward and backward time does not allow big bang is not a generally accepted theory can you infer that and if big bang is not a generally accepted theory the you know passage would have given you hints towards that nothing of that sort we have read goes out the universe is growing larger at a consistent rate i think we read somewhere i think we read somewhere that the universe is actually expanding so if you pay attention to this para you will realize that the universe is actually expanding and expanding that to at an accelerating rate and not a consistent rate so a direct opposite of what is given in the passage goes out that means one has to be my answer that light in the cosmos comes from stars yeah this has to be the answer the passage implies that cosmic microwave background again a inference type question you have to be careful while ubiquitous is a residue of starlight first of all i don't know the meaning of ubiquitous obviously i'm making a video i can just you know do some cheating and check the google but i don't need the meaning of ubiquitous well while this is an important word you have you can you know google this thing but then again not important while something is a residue of starlight no because it is the relic of the cosmic microwave background this is not this has got nothing to do with the starlight is a radiation that pervades the cosmos in a way or the other is my answer maybe i am keeping it on hold cosmic microwave radiation is a proof of the entropy that is the property of all matter entropy they have said is something related to the disorder of a system has got nothing to do with the cosmic microwave radiation or you can say background this is in a way also you can say heat okay this is the physicist in me talking but again i'm not a physicist i'm a physics major but this is the heat or you can also say the radiation an entropy is a different thing i'm sorry this is just to digress a little bit yeah is a measure of the inherent instability of the cosmos definitely not is a radiation that pervades the cosmos is the right answer to this question let's look into the this question the fact that time is relative time is relative to position and speed can imply all of the following except a human on earth can view a star that is yet to form first of all please understand this this is an except statement okay you there will be three options which are correct and one incorrect
Time is relative to position and speed can imply all of the following except three correct statement and one incorrect statement. A human on earth can view a star that is yet to form. Can a human on earth see a star that is yet to form? Definitely not. This is the incorrect statement goes away has to be my answer. All these are you know incorrect because again I know I should eliminate and let's eliminate then. The order in the cosmos is deceptive. Obviously, this is given because the you know it is given in the passage that you know stars and planets and articles on time, one way or the other, is making you think that the there is an inherent order. The you know the universe is maybe you know in one way or the other getting itself into order, but that is deceptive because maybe the disorder is you know hidden away in some gravitational field. It's written in the passage. a powerful enough device can read the microwaves that po microwaves post the big bang yes it is true because microwave this cosmic microwave background is there so a powerful device can actually read those things so yeah this is also true so this is because it is true goes out three correct is not our answer one incorrect is our answer this is how you will typically choose personal experience of time is individual and not uniform this is also something that is written in the you know passage that the length of time is dependent on experience right i don't want to go back to the passage last question according to the passage which of the following could possibly give us a clue to explaining the paradox of order in a universe that is that clearly prefers disorder so which would give us a clue that explain the paradox of order so let's read the measure of time that is reflected in the cosmic wave such as x ray and microwaves the radiation measures from gravitational bodies formed since big bang evolution of notional entities like relative time and relative space from grav Okay this is a interesting one The measure of time that is reflected in the cosmic waves such as x rays and microwaves these are cosmic waves x rays and microwaves are cosmic waves this is not going to be the answer the radiation measures from gravitational bodies formed since big bang could possibly give us a clue to explaining the paradox of order in the universe that clearly prefers disorder no radiation measure from gravitational bodies will also not give us this thing the evolution of notional entities like relative time and speed i don't think the information that could be gleaned from gravitational field obviously for obvious reason it is given because in the last passage uh, uh, the last para it is also written that there could be certain elements hidden away in the gravitational fields and disorder could increase even though we don't see it and that could actually tell us or give us a clue to explaining the paradox of order in a universe that clearly prefers disorder information that could be gleaned from gravitational fields so this is going to be the answer to that Okay so that's it i hope you understood this well thank you